to those who like and follow my Facebook page. And to those who haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube, please do subscribe. Today, we're going to learn our math unit 3. And for the overview, we have classifying or grouping of objects, the similar, and then we go to object that does not belong to the group. And the last one is working with shapes. Before anything else, we are going to pray first. So it's time to pray. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Lord Jesus, we come to you. Help us and guide us in our studies. Bless our parents, our graduates, as well as our students. This we pray in your mighty name. And everybody say, Amen. Now, kids, the same song, and the title of the song is Number Song. You're going to hear all the numbers. So let's sing it, and this is an action song. If you want to sing, sing with me, it's okay. One, two, three, four, five. I go the fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get away again. One, two, three, four, five. I saw a big beehive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I ran out to the ten. So we'll finish our song now. It's okay. Now we go now to our many lessons. Now kids, let's go to our main lesson. Our list, first lesson is going to be classifying or grouping of objects. First we are going to group uh, the group of fruits. Now we are going to have banana, apple, strawberry, grapes, papaya, and mango. So those are our group of fruits. Now we go to our group of books. We have science, math, reading, writing, and Filipino. So those are our group of books. Now we go to the group of shapes. I know it's so easy for you. The group of shapes are triangle, circle, star, crescent, square, and oval. So we finished our grouping or our classifying of objects. We have the group of fruits, we have the group of books, and we have also our group of shapes. Now we go to the next lesson after the <coughs> So we go now to our next lesson, which is the similar objects. Now you will find out that there are three flowers. They are red roses. One, two, three flowers are similar or they are the same. But then we have a tree which is not similar with the three roses. So what are the similar objects there? The three roses. One, two, three roses are similar. But the tree is not similar with the three roses. Now let's go to another example. We find out three blue shirts. Let's count the shirts. One, two, three shirts. But there is a sandal which is red. The sandal is not similar with the three blue shirts. The blue shirts are similar. The three blue shirts are similar. But the sandal, which is red, is not similar. So, we are finished with our similar. We go again to another example. We have three pencils that are yellow. Let's count the pencils. One, two, three. But there is an eraser, which, which is not similar. What are similar objects there? The three pencils that are yellow. And the eraser is not similar with the pencils. 
three pencils are the seminar objects. So we finish our seminar objects. We go now to our object that does not belong to the group after the show. again now let's go to another lesson for today we are going to study the object that's not belong to the group the object that does not belong to the group now we start with the object first we have the pineapple and then we have the banana but we have a book and then we have an apple what do you think the object that does not belong to the group Hey, it's the book. Why? Because the pineapple and the mango and the apple are fruits. But the book is not. So the book does not belong to the group. You get it? Okay. So we have another example here. These are the farm animals. The goat, the chicken, and the cow. But we have a bus. What object that does not belong to the group? What do you think is that object? Of course, it is the bus. Because all the objects there, the goat, the chicken, and the cow are farm animals. But then, the bus does not belong to the group. One more example again. We have spoon, fork, and plate. But we have a ball. What? object that does not belong to the group oh i know you know it it is the ball because the spoon the fork and the plate they are in one group but then the ball does not belong to the group so we finish now our object that does not belong to the group we have one more lesson after the break again again kids now we are going to do our last lesson for today which is working with shapes now we are going to do a heart and in this big heart we are going to fill it with 10 small hearts now let's count the heart inside the big heart one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. We have ten hearts inside a big heart. Now we go now to another example for working with shapes. Now we are going to draw an oval. We are going to make the oval into a tray. And then we will fill it again with ten fruits. Make an oval and make it a tray and fill it with ten fruits. Now we start putting all the fruits inside the tray. Now we have apple, banana, strawberry, orange, papaya, mango, pineapple, grapes, pear, and avocado. Now our tray, which is an oval, is full of different kinds of fruits. Now we go to another example after this break. See you later. Here again, class, we're going to finish our working with shapes. We are going to make a rectangle. And this rectangle, we are going to fill them with different toys. I know you love toys. So first, we are going to put the ball the top and then the teddy bear and then a small toy car and then we are going to put again the toy plane and then we are going to put the balloon the robot and then put again the hula hoop and then a toy and then a blocks so let's count them all one two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten. They are all toys 
feel the rectangle. So now we go. We're going now to go to our circle. Circle is so easy to draw. Now we're gonna put them some vegetables. I love vegetables. Oh, many of you doesn't like vegetables, so you have to love vegetables. It's good for our body. So let's start putting the vegetables into the circle. Now let's start. Now the eggplant, and now the celery. Next is the carrot, and then we put the cabbage, and then the squash, the cucumber or the cucumber, the onion, the pepper, and then we put the tomato, and then the next is the garlic. So there are ten vegetables in the circle. Now the last one that we gonna work with shape is the square. You know what is a square? The four sides that are equal. So we're gonna make a square and put all the jungle animals. Who love jungle animals? Oh, I'm so scared of jungle animals. So let's put them together in the square. So let's put now the elephant and then the lion and then we put the kangaroo and then the hippo and next the giraffe and then we put the tiger and then the zebra and then we put now the hyena and then we are now going to put the cheetah and then the last one is the rhino so how many jungle animals we put on the square Ten jungle animals. So we'll finish our working with sheep. After the break, we're gonna sing a song about grouping song. So don't go away. Stay with me. After this one, we're gonna have a last song. Hello, kids. The title of the song is the grouping song. If you want to participate the song with me, it's just okay. But if not, it's okay. So the song goes this way. I am going to sing the first line. Where are the groups? Where are the groups? You are going to sing the second line. Here we are. Here we are. And I'm going to sing again the next line. How many are you there? How many are you there? Now you are going to answer me. We are two if you are two. We are three if you are three. We are four if you are four. If you are five, then you sing. We are five. Then you continue like this. Where are the groups? Where are the groups? And you're going to answer me again. Here we are. Here we are. Are you truly happy? Are you truly happy? Then you will answer. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Happy as can be. So the song goes that way. Okay, let's sing the song now. Where are the groups? Where are the groups? Here we are. Here we are. How many are you now? We are two. We are three. We are four. We are five. Where are the groups? Where are the groups? Here we are. Here we are. Are you truly happy? Are you truly happy? Happy as can be. Are you truly happy? Are you truly happy? Happy as can be. Yay! Hi again, dear kids. I hope you learned so many things today in our math lesson. And please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like so that we can go further and better in our channel. So I'll see you next time for our math four and stay put in our channel. Don't change your channel if ever. This is Teacher Anna saying goodbye for now and see you later. Bye-bye.